1 million new jobs, a national child care program, easy access to COVID-19 testing, and wage subsidies extended into next summer, all part of the government's plan to protect Canadians through the pandemic and get the economy restarted uh, on the other side of it. Joining us now to talk about the plan is the Minister of Families, Children, and Social Development, Amin Hussain. Mr. Minister, thank you so much for joining us today. A really important conversation to have. Um, look, many promises were made yesterday in the throne speech, but no budgets were attached. Attached. And your government did say this is no time for austerity, but is it not still important, Mr. Minister, for Canadians to know how much these plans are going to cost uh, Canadians? Well, of course, absolutely. And we will be providing a, a very thorough fiscal update in the fall uh, of all these uh, announcements. What, what I want to say is uh, that uh, yesterday uh, the speech from the throne was about uh, protecting Canadians uh, from a pandemic that we're still dealing with and also making sure that we have a very strong and resilient recovery and, and, and enabling people to participate in, in the economy and, and succeed. Uh, that is what we, uh, we, we are announcing and making sure that no one is left behind and enabling people to, to participate in the workforce, especially women, by committing to finally a Canada-wide national childcare system. As you know, uh, systems take time to build, but uh, we're very, very confident that uh, by learning from uh, other uh, international partners as well as uh, the province of Quebec that has uh, an affordable uh, child care system. We can, uh, we can build on those foundations and the investments that we've made as a, as a government to create uh, thousands of affordable child care spaces, take all those, uh, that foundation and that uh, experience and build uh, finally what uh, Canadians have been asking us to do, which is build a Canada-wide uh, national child care system. Uh, Mr. Minister, the provinces and the territories have all laid out multi-phase reopening plans. Why did the federal government not do the same thing? Uh, we, of course, ha have been working very closely with provinces and territories. This has been a Team Canada approach uh, right from the beginning. Uh, we, as you know, we, we had a safe restart agreement with provinces and territories in the amount uh, of more than $19 billion to enable uh, them to restart uh, safely. Uh, and, and have Canadians uh, be more resilient as we recover from this pandemic. Uh, you also saw the the announcement uh, uh, just before the throne speech of um, uh, more than a billion dollars to invest in rapid housing solutions to be able to house permanently those who've been housed uh, temporarily as a result of uh, federal intervention to ensure that the most vulnerable in our society especially those who are uh, homeless, uh, have a roof over their heads uh, during this pandemic and beyond. Uh, we'll continue to have the backs of Canadians, whether it is by extending the Canada Emergency Wage Subsidy, by building a new uh, and modern employment insurance program, making sure that uh, we, we, we continue to invest as much as we can on, on vaccine development, on PPE, on testing. Uh, we will be there, not just in the short term, but in the long term to have a very strong recovery. But uh, we're still not out of the woods with respect to, the, to this pandemic. That's what the Prime Minister spoke about. Uh, Minister Usen, thank you for taking time uh, and giving us the perspective of the government this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.